Hi, my name is Abigail Ballard, and this is Parameter Estimation and Simulation of a Bacteriophage Infection Model. By the year 2050, the World Health Organization predicts that over 10 million people will die annually due to antimicrobial resistance or antibiotic-resistant bacterial infections. Currently, we're using antibiotics to treat these. However, they're widely becoming more and more ineffective as they're generally overprescribed and bacteria becoming resistant. As another method of treating these, we propose the use of bacteriophages, which are viruses that infect bacteria. With an estimated 10 to 31st in the biosphere, for any choice of bacteria, there are thousands of options of bacteriophages that could potentially be used to treat these in patients in what's known as phage therapy. There are two general infection pathways in a bacteriophage, lytic and lysogenic. In a lysogenic pathway, the bacteriophage effectively uses the bacteria as a reservoir host, in which case it will lie dormantly until an environmental stressor pushes it into a lytic cycle, at which point it will produce more and more bacteriophages inside of the bacteria until it goes on to lice or break the cell wall of the bacteria, effectively killing it and releasing infectious bacteriophage particles called virions into the system. So we can show all this happening with a compartmental diagram, where we can illustrate this S-class being our susceptible bacteria, C being the infected bacteria phages, which has a choice basically, which moves into either the lysogenic or lytic pathways. The lytic pathway will go on to create these variants which are released into the system and known as V. So when we look at these, what we're really doing is we're evaluating them for stability in the long term. We're trying to see if they move into just one stable steady point or if they're constantly evolving or changing over time in a almost chaotic motion. So we're trying to find and look at this and see if, say, the S-class survives or IRB survives or if everything just moves to extinction. And to start doing this, we can model it with a system of differential equations, which we show here, which can be evaluated. So our first theorem for extinction, which is going to be our very first stability as well, shows that if our susceptible bacteria die faster than they can replicate, and like whether lysogenic die fast, die or move into this lytic cycle, faster than they can replicate, it will go into extinction in a locally asymptotically stable fashion. This is our best case scenario for treating a patient because it means that all of our bacteria inside the patient effectively die. So a bad case scenario, but not the worst, is if we use a bacteria phage, but its infection rate is so low that it's ineffective against the bacteria we're using. This means we need to use a different bacteria phage to potentially treat these, and our bacteria survive. The worst case scenario is this IRB survival, in which case we use the bacteria phage and it infects the bacteria successfully, but it's mostly lysogenic, which means that it's not going to go on to kill the bacteria and we need to find a different method of treatment for this. So moving forward, I like to use Brower's theorem to find ovals of Cassini to find more strict restrictions on the SC equilibrium. And I'd also like to model bacteria phages in competition, which shows a complex system of phage interaction, which follows us closer to what we see in medical applications, but it creates a massive Jacobian and I'm currently working on evaluating this. Thank you, and I hope you'll have a great day.